I'm Patrick Norton. I'm Veronica Belmont. Welcome to Techzilla. Hands-on reviews the latest tech and how to make the most out of the gear that you've already got. Whether you're a beginner at tech support for your friends and family, if you've got a question about tech or the nastiest dessert at the Cheesecake Factory, we've got an answer for you. And today it involves pineapples. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's not, doesn't, that doesn't sound too nasty. <laughs> All right. I trust you. I trust you. <laughs> I don't want to start weeping again. You... Out of the country, yes. London, most yes. of last week. Did the I hype over the iPad make it to I London, I last, I week? <laughs> Is that a new secret language? It's not very difficult to decipher. Forget about Pig Latin, it's I Latin. Oh my goodness. Well, yeah, the news was definitely big over there. It was on the front page of all the newspapers, it was the front page of The Economist, and people were talking about it big time. I'm kind of sad I missed all the excitement here in San Francisco. Don't worry, most of us couldn't actually get into the events. So. Ah, uh, yes. Well, Ryan did. Ryan did. Well, I, before we got, actually got Ryan here, we're going to ask him about that, but I got to ask, are you feeling the covet? Do you need an iPad? You know, I would like to get my hands on it to, to play around with a little bit and test it out, but you I do totally not feel... One. No, I don't. I don't feel that need to go out and, and get it. I still don't really see a need, although people were saying that it would make a really cool device for board games and tabletop thought. gaming. Wouldn't that be kind of cool? It would be kind of cool. I was, play like I, checkers or chess or play like risk. I thought it, it has an amazing awesome. feel. It would be really cool for that. Mm -hmm. I was a little disappointed that there's no GPS in the non 3G version of it. Mm -hmm. Something we didn't get to talk about. You know, did, I found it like the day after we. we well, not we having flash, the show not having a camera. I mean, a lot of people will argue that flash is on its way out anyway. Um, but you know, it would have been nice to have it in a larger device until we get through to that transitional point. That glorious mythical day when flash is away from. Flash, nobody uses Flash until you look at like the top 1,000 fortune companies and most sites that do video. Have you seen the, 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 the non-Flash version of YouTube? I haven't. We'll put the URL for that. Oh, it's fine. basically HTML5 for YouTube. If you haven't seen it, you should definitely check that out. Ryan, what do you think? Are, are you going to buy an iPad? Are you feeling the I love I Ryan? <laughs> My head is exploding from... <laughs> uh, no, it was, I mean, it was, it was really, uh, it, was, it, was, it was a really interesting launch. Um, I'm gonna wait and see. I can't wait to like actually get it in the house and play. I mean, it's as far as like browsing on the internet uh, around the house. I think this is gonna be my new go-to device. The new toilet PC for browsing. Yeah. Oh, totally. Yeah. The new no. living room iPod Touch because we have an iPod Touch that we use in the living room for doing like checkups on IMDb mm -hmm. or other like you know we want to get information about something. We just keep it in the living room and we can use that or I'm... our iPhones. But this would be a nice that would be nice to have in the living room. I, I don't think it's be... big enough for a tabletop gaming though. Oh yes, kind of. It's really not. We pl we play games on our on our iPhones all the time, like little air hockey. This little air <laughs> hockey app that's actually really fun. The air hockey app would be good for that. Spend yeah. five hundred dollars, play air hockey. No, I know. Well, okay. So as a device that I would use day to day, probably not. I don't see myself carrying around something like that with me right. to and from work, to, to read on the train. I mean, I already have a Kindle, though. I already have my iPhone. I already have devices that do all the things I need. But you can't not browse Flash on a Kindle. That's true. I can't <laughs> not do that. That is correct. Um, I am a little bit intrigued, though, by the iBook shelf and all the, the mm -hmm. iBook stuff. I think that's pretty neat. Especially that's something to keep an eye on, for sure. Yeah, I think it's going to be interesting to watch eBook prices, the whole Macmillan kerfuffle oh, with yeah. Amazon. Macmillan Amazon kerfuffle last week. It's going to be interesting to see if eBook prices, especially, I think mostly for the, the big bestsellers, is mm -hmm. maybe climbing. It's, it's going to be interesting to watch in the next few months, especially between well, now and when the iPad hits the street. It's or, funny, too, because Amazon actually would make more money using right. the method that the publishers want to use, but that way they have to put up the prices, and then people are going to be buying less Kindles and spending less money on books. So overall, they lose. Why so would it's I like, pay that much for the Kindle when I could buy a real copy of the book at you know, my local... Yeah, it all depends on which way you want to use it and how much you're willing to spend. We'll see. A lot of interesting stuff will be happening in the next few months. <laughs>